Do you want to learn how to play the song Chandelier by Sia? Stay tuned and I'll give you a few tips on how you yourself can learn how to play this song on your cello. Hi, my name is Liz from Cellomoji.com and I help you learn to play the cello for all those moments in your life. If you are new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. Consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll always be notified of all the new videos that come out on this channel. So by request, I did a cover of Chandelier by Sia. And uh, this video is to just give you a few tips so that if you wanted to learn how to play this song yourself, you would be able to on your own. I've left a link to the sheet music below. Uh, this is the sheet music that I used myself when I was making this uh, cover video. So definitely go and check that out and download it if you want to learn how to play it. I'll also leave a link below to the video where I do a cover of the song Chandelier. I think sometimes it is helpful to just watch the video where you can see someone else actually playing the music uh, and that might answer some of your questions as well. This version of the sheet music was meant to be played uh, with the track off of Sia's 1000 Forms of Fear album. It can be a little bit tricky to play this song but with some practice you'll be able to do it. Okay, so don't be so scared when you see the key signature. I know there's a lot of flats in it, but if you just know your D flat major scale to octaves, then you will be able to play this song. And if you don't know your scales, go ahead and learn your scales because just think about it this way, when you learn your scales, you are learning every possible note that you can play on the cello. So I know I mentioned with the scale to definitely know the two octaves, but if you happen to know how to play a third octave of the scale, that will also be really helpful in this song as well. So in measure 46 um, in the video, I actually push all of those notes up an octave, so it looks like I'm just playing super, super high, but that is totally optional. Uh, in measure 46, actually, in the printed music I leave it down an octave and you can totally keep it there and keep it in the more comfortable range however I just thought you know let's mix it up a little bit because it's a little bit of the same music and it'll sound a little different an octave higher so I opted to play it up an octave okay the line in measure 7 that's sort of like slanting downwards that is not a misprint that is actually a little bit of a stylistic thing in the song she kind of does like a little bit of a bend of a note and while we can't exactly Exactly recreate that on the cello I just opted for a little bit of like a glissando backwards so a little bit of a sliding off of the note and that kind of gives a similar effect of her sort of bending the note with her voice you can also insert this in other places where the notes and the structures is exactly the same as this measure but I just opted to not put them in there because you know that again that's a little bit of a personal choice if you want to go for it and add a little bit of a stylistic thing in there go for it that's great just also remember too, sometimes doing the same uh, phrase, like exact same notes and rhythm, but doing it the same way each time is not very interesting. And if you really listen to any singer, pop singer, rock singer, and anyone at all, and you hear them singing the same music over and over again, you'll notice that each time that they sing it, it's just ever so slightly different because it keeps it interesting. Plus, to top it off, they're always singing different words in the same in that same area. So it kind of just keeps it interesting for the listener. So consider that too when you yourself are playing this. Just know that in this song, there is definitely a little bit of a fluctuation of the tempo. But if you're really listening, there is always a very steady accompaniment underneath, whether it's from the drums or from the bass, they're, they're steady as a rock. And then sometimes you'll hear the singer kind of like schmooze around the beat. Uh, this is also sometimes called rubato where you're taking time from somewhere else to add it to another place. So the total amount of time is still the same, but like how she's sort of rhythmically squeezing in this sort of very solid rhythmic bass um, that can sort of change around. So just keep a listening uh, ear out for that if you decide to play with the recorded track. It is definitely, definitely important to really keep track of the constant beat that's going on underneath. That way you won't lose your time in the piece. There are definitely triplets in here which would be good for you to know, uh, but in terms of a lot of the rhythmic things in here, it's not too terribly difficult. Um, in fact, a lot of this song is just really, really repetitive. So it is really giving you a good opportunity to be precise with uh, things like your intonation and things like how can you, you know, 
bad time and steal time from somewhere else so that it, you know it kind of gives this sort of almost improvisatory feel to how you're playing the song and of course you know there are definitely harmonies you could add to it I didn't add it in this cello part here but you know again think about ways that you can keep it interesting for yourself if you always play the same thing all the time then that can get kind of boring after a while too I'm always a big advocate of supporting the artist so be sure that you go out and either buy the track download the album you know go support them on their fan pages go see their concerts um, all of these things are really showing the artists that hey you really like their stuff and you're encouraging them to just keep going at it so go out there and support the artists in any way that you can I've left a link to my version of playing through this song below so be sure to check that out as well as the link for the download to the sheet music as well question of the day how did you like this tutorial did you find it helpful would you like to see more tutorials like this uh, be sure to leave me a comment below on what song you would like to see next if there are any questions that I haven't addressed in this video be sure to also leave them below uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it if you haven't already done so and give me a thumbs up if you like the song Chandelier by Sia. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!